Recently, we've made some big changes to AcrylicPress.com. In this video, we're going to give you a quick walkthrough of the site and the functionality of our new designer. Let's begin by clicking Create, which will bring up a list of our products. You'll also be able to see this list if you hover your mouse over the Create button. For this video, we'll be using wall art as an example. Clicking wall art takes you to a page with all of the available sizes and styles. In this case, we'll use 12 by 16 wall art in a portrait layout. This is the design tool page, which allows you to decorate your product with images and text. You can use any image, but be aware that lower resolution images may not look as good when printed as they do on your screen. The design tool will warn you if this is the case. Click Add Design to add your image to the tool. You can then browse to the file you want to upload to the designer. You'll be asked if you have permission to use and reproduce this image. The photo we're using came in sideways, but fortunately, rotating it is easy. You can click the rotation node on the corner of your photo, use the rotate tool on the right, or type in the degree of rotation. In order for this image to print properly, it needs to fill all of the gray space in the tool. You can resize it using the size tool on the right, or stretch the nodes on the photo itself. Be sure resize proportionally is checked. As you can see, this image isn't big enough to print well on wall art, but for the purposes of this video, it'll be fine. For those of you into Instagram filters, we have a number of effects available to edit your image with. You can adjust the color profiles and balance, or filter it entirely. Click the Add Text button if you'd like to add text over your image. From there, you can arrange the text as necessary. Choose from a library of fonts, Center your text horizontally or vertically. Change the color. And add an outline, shape, or shadow. The text can be adjusted in the same ways images can. Once you're satisfied with how your artwork looks, just click Add to Cart and you're done. You'll get one more warning message if something went wrong along the way. That does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, or just want to know what we're up to, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Pinterest. Thanks for watching.